When it comes to inventors, many people create inventions for wealth. There are others that create inventions for helping people. The next inventor I want to talk to you about is George Washington Carver. Do you know who George Washington Carver is? If you don't, that's okay, because right now I am ready to talk to you about a famous inventor named George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was an inventor who used plants in hundreds of ways to help the world today. George Washington Carver was born into slavery in 1864 near Diamond Grove, Missouri, on the farm of his master, Moses Carver. At that time, George's parents were purchased as slaves. Their names were Mary and Giles. Moses Carver purchased them both for $700. As an infant, George Washington Carver went through a hard time with his mother. George, his sister, and his mother were taken from his father's farm by Confederate night raiders. His master Moses eventually found George, but never recovered his mother and sister. During these times, black people were not allowed to go to public school, but George found a school 10 miles south in Neosho, where he traveled to go to school. When he reached the town, he found the school was closed for the night and slept in a nearby barn until he could later find a room to rent. Growing up, George took a fascination in plants. He was even known in his neighborhood as the plant doctor. So when neighbors found their plants sick, they would take them to George and he would help them get well. Even though he did not get a chance to work with plants in school until his late 20s, he went after his passion attending Iowa State College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts. While attending school, George was a leader on campus studying botany and horticulture. He was later asked in 1896 by then school president of Tuskegee Institute, Booker T. Washington, to be the head of its agriculture department. Carver taught at the Tuskegee Institute for 47 years. In the South, agriculture was a major part of how they made money. Crops differed throughout the South, and they had plenty of peanuts to go around. This is where George Washington Carver made his mark on the industry by using peanuts and other plants to make wonderful inventions. In his rise to fame, Carver used plant biology to focus on experiments using peanuts, sweet potatoes, soybeans, and pecans. Some of the inventions that George Washington Carver was known for suggesting to Southern farmers were adhesives, bleach, buttermilk, chili sauce, mayonnaise, shaving cream, and more. Only three inventions were patented under George's name. The patents were for cosmetics, paints, and stains. George Washington Carver was accepted around the world and even received praise from then President of the United States of America, Theodore Roosevelt, who admired his work. President Roosevelt even asked for George's advice for help on agricultural matters in the United States. With his inventions and creativity, George Washington Carver helped to change the world. Never seeking money, he will always be remembered as a great contributor to our society. Even when visiting his tombstone, it says, he could have added fortune to fame, but caring for neither. He found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. So I hope you enjoyed this quick biography on the inventor, George Washington Carver.